The lifespan of a honeybee is one to two months. That's the equivalent of our high school summer break, just about two months. In that short amount of time, bees accomplish so much. Their work impacts many aspects of our world, including yourself, society, and the environment. The bee is a small but mighty creature who plays a vital role across the world. Our very existence depends on bees and other pollinators, according to the United Nations. Do you remember every time someone gave you a pencil or volunteered to help when you asked? Likely not, yet those moments were very important to you. The same goes for bees. Although they seem insignificant, they are actually very important to you, and their seemingly small actions support your world in more ways than you think. Really? How? Well, bees contribute to the ecosystem by being pollinators, and almost all plant species rely on pollinators to reproduce. About 75 to 95 percent of flowering plants do. If pollinators decline, so will the plant populations. Plants are important for many reasons. They produce oxygen, prevent soil erosion, and plants produce about one third of the world's food. Plants are necessary for the world's survival, and pollinators are to credit for the majority of the plants around the world. Bees are among the most efficient and effective pollinator species, which is why they specifically are crucial to the ecosystem. One honeybee can pollinate up to 5,000 flowers per day, according to the United States Forest Service. Not only do bees pollinate flowers and plants, but they are used for commercial farming as well. They pollinate crops such as almonds, apples, cherries, garlic, and many more. Over 100 types of crops are pollinated by bees. The fact is that, of the 100 crop species that provide 90% of the world's food, over 70 are pollinated by bees, is a quote from an executive director of the United Nations Environment Program. Bees are important to your world by producing the majority of your food which is one reason why you should care about bees. Another reason is that they need our help. The global bee populations have been in decline, which has been well documented for multiple years. Recently, researchers have found that almost a quarter of the estimated 20,000 bee species on Earth may be decreasing. The CAPA Bee Winter Loss Report stated that up to 33% of bees were lost, just during the winter of 2021 in Canada. And almost 50% of the American beekeeper bee population was lost last year as well, according to the USDA National Agricultural Statistics Service. That stings us all to hear that in North America and around the world, the bee populations have continuously been falling. But why are the bee populations declining? Bees have been faced with habitat loss as urban development increases. They can get hit with pesticides or extract nectar from pesticide-ridden plants. Even climate change is affecting bees' natural behavior and lifespan. Among other reasons, these are the major contributors to the loss of bees. If this keeps trending upwards, the bee populations will continue to decline and may become irreversible through extinction. Remember how one third of the world's food is from plants and how bees allow countless plants to grow? Imagine walking into the grocery store and seeing one third of the produce missing. Lots of other shelves would be empty too through the lack of fundamental crops such as beans, which bees pollinate. Bees have a larger direct and indirect impact on society and the environment than you may think, even though they seem small and insignificant. I've been able to see and experience these impacts firsthand, which has changed my perspective on the gravity of simple acts. On my family's farm, we have a few hives of honeybees. The bees are always busy at work making honey, and it's really intriguing to see whenever I get to drive out to the farm. Last September was the first time I was actively involved with harvesting our bees' honey. It was a memorable experience filled with excitement and learning. When I got to the farm, my uncle explained what my job would be and all the gear I needed. 
I eagerly shimmied into a huge beekeeper suit and golf carted over to the honeybees we have in our orchard. As we went to take the wax honeycombs out of the hives, we were very careful to not disturb the bees. Going slowly and gently was crucial, and it paid off, as no one had to learn the hard way that going fast gets you stuck. We only took what was needed for a couple of people so that the bees could have plentiful amounts of honey for themselves. When something significant is presented to you, right in front of your eyes, it causes you to think. If you were presented with every single positive moment in your life, you would likely be grateful, happy, and gain perspective on how the people around you impact you. Being in nature alongside the pollinators that fostered my surroundings was grounding. It allowed me to physically feel and see their importance. I also got to enjoy another ultimate benefit of honeybees, their fresh honey. As we ran back to the farmhouse with wind blowing through our hair, I felt revitalized and appreciative. The organic orchard we were running in, where the bees pollinate, wouldn't be thriving without them. Being able to grow up and be so close with bees and nature has made me passionate about their survival and has allowed me to see their impacts on our family farm and in turn, the world. I can't imagine a reality without bees that still has plentiful nature, flowers, or food. Since we all want to see abundant amounts of food and produce in the grocery stores, what can we do to help the bees since their populations are in decline? Although there isn't much one person can do to stop urban development or the world's climate change, one person can support the bees themselves and create a positive ripple effect. If tiny bees can make a huge impact, you can make a huge impact yourself. Here are a few simple ways to help and support the bees. One, 